Okay, in the next part of Chapter 9, um, Richard Soup imports a paper texture into the Flash movie and kind of animates that into place. And right now, um, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how you could go about creating it. First, what I'd like you to do is check out this file. This is an interesting file. Um, I'm going to put it in a folder on your desktop. It's called Border005. And it looks like this. This is a um, uh, border texture created by Chris Orwig in my digital imaging class. We're going to import that into Flash. So we're going to use it in Flash. We're going to say File, Import to Library. And we're going to import this border PSD file. Instantly we get our message. Um, we're importing a PSD file. Blah, blah, blah. Flattened bitmap image is fine. Um, and I'm going to say uh, lossless and click OK. And so now that's in our library. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to work on this I need another layer. So I'm going to collapse the background that we put in a folder and on top of the sprite layer I'm going to put a new layer. I'm going to lock the two layers I don't want to use to make sure I know what layer I'm on. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab this border and I'm going to drag it in. As you can see this border is way 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 big. Okay. Um, that is the case. So what I'm going to do now is say uh, modify uh, break apart. Alright, there it is. And you can see it's white, it's got black, and then now we're going to trace this bitmap. So we're going to say modify uh, bitmap trace bitmap. The settings we had before should be good. 60, 35, very smooth in a few corners. And we'll click OK. And we get this result right here. Um, Okay, now what I'm going to do is, let's see here, I'm going to zoom out, control minus on my keyboard to zoom out, and what I want to do is I want to grab the white and delete the black. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to click on the white areas. And what I might need to do is zoom in a little bit just to make sure that I'm clicking on the white areas. I'm going to collapse this. All right, and I can see there's a white area there, so I get my selection tool, hold down the shift key, and click on these white areas. And I can hold the um, space bar down and move the frame around. Looks like I'm getting most of these white areas. Um, I can hold down the shift key and grab this, and that, and this. Hold down the space bar. Drag over. Okay, I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. I could probably get uh, this and this. Hold down the space bar. Okay, that looks good. Um, maybe over here, hold down the shift key and get this. Hold down the space bar. Drag down. Okay, that looks pretty good. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this. Control X. Okay, and I'm going to paste it on a new layer. Okay, right here. And edit, paste in place. So I cut out the white part, pasted it on a new layer, and now I'm going to delete layer 5. So I'm going to select layer 5, which is the layer I don't need, and delete it. And so what I'm left with, if I zoom out, is just the white part. So I'm going to select this keyframe right here that selects all the white, and I'm going to make it smaller transform tool, hold down the shift key, and make it smaller. Okay, I need it quite a bit smaller. Okay, and zoom in. All right, that's looking pretty good. All right, you can scroll over to get a sense of how big it's going to be on your site. All right, in fact, I'm going to drag this keyframe, select the keyframe, and drag it over to about here. So this is my white background that I traced the bitmap, and now I have this white page type thing here. All right, and that'll be used as a picture viewer or something like that. Okay, there it is. I can get my move tool and drag it around. Make sure to select the keyframe or to select all of it. Um, uh, by drag, click and dragging around it. You can do that if you have the other two layers locked. Alright, so now what I want to do is uh, I gotta fill it with a paper texture. 
Now to do that I need to have a paper texture in my library but right now I don't have one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import one. So file, import, import to library and I've got a paper texture for you. Okay and let's see what we got now. Uh, okay I just imported a paper texture. Paper 2, no that's not what I wanted. Delete that. File, import to library. Let's see here. Paper. Where is it? Paper. There it is. All right. Now I have a paper texture in my library. I'm going to drag that out. Where is it? Nope, that's not it either. Let's see here, one more time, file, import to library, and it must be this. Okay, library, Let's see if we can find it. There it is. So I'm going to drag this out on the same layer where I have my white thing. I'm going to drag it off stage, and there is my paper texture. Okay. Now I want to put that into my um, as a texture into my uh, color swatch here as a um, bitmap, right? To do that, what you have to do is take the texture, this texture, and modify, break apart. Okay. And now you can delete it. And if you look now. In your color um, chooser, if you go under bitmap, it's a choice of a texture. And so what you can do is you can actually take your paint bucket and paint the object, your white object, uh, with your paper texture. So now I've got this paper texture. I used my paint bucket and I've painted it with the bitmap, with the actual texture. I'm going to zoom in so you can see that better. See now that this paper has been filled in with this texture. Now I'm going to select this keyframe again, which is my paper texture, and convert it to a symbol. Modify convert to symbol. Movie clip, I'll call it paper MC underscore paper. All right, zoom out, and we're all good. We've got our paper texture. I can um, move it in place. Now it's a movie clip. So I can play with other properties for it if I wanted to. Um, for instance, um, I can colorize it. So I'll go to Properties, and I've got it selected, right? And go to Color, Tint, and I can tint the color and make it a full tint. We don't see the texture anymore, though. So I want to see the texture a little bit, so I'll do a partial tint. And I'll zoom out and see how that looks. Okay, Fit in Window. And so there's my paper. So you can see now that the animation comes in. The animation comes in, this fades in, the character um, tweens up, and then the texture appears. In his movie, he has the texture grow from small to big. So we could do that, or we could just fade it in. So if we wanted to do a fade in, what I would do is add another keyframe, let's say like at 35. F6 for my paper. So now I have the paper appearing here, the keyframe here. And now I go to the first keyframe where it appears, select it, and go to um, alpha, and alpha it down to zero. And then when it comes in, it comes in fully tinted. So now on the first keyframe, tween and motion. And so now the paper tweens into place. And if you wanted to, they like to have it also zoom in. You could select it and transform it and make it smaller. Hold down the shift key, make it smaller. And so now it not only moves in, but it also gets bigger and flies into place. So this happens, character happens, paper happens. Okay, so um, the next thing we're going to do is animate our logo into the screen, but we don't have a logo yet, so we're going to need to get a logo.